In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure your controller to work on Dolphin emulator. Whether you're using a Wii remote or X input controller like Xbox or PlayStation, you can most certainly play the Dolphin emulator with it. The first thing you're going to do is open up your Dolphin emulator. You're going to click controller option. You're going to go down where it says Wii Remote 1. You're going to hit the drop down. And if you're using an actual Wii controller, you're going to click the option where it says Real Wii Remote. If you're using an Xbox input controller like Xbox or PlayStation, then you're going to hit the option that says Emulate Wii Remote. After you do such, you're going to hit the option that says Configure. Once you hit that option, it should take you to this particular screen. Once you're here, under devices, you're going to see a drop down. If you're using an X input controller like Xbox or PlayStation, I want you to pick the option that says X input zero gamepad. To configure each particular button, all you have to do is simply click the section that you want to configure and then click the button on your actual remote. If you play Mario in particular, this will be the configuration that you will use that I've seen so far. So that's whether you're using a PlayStation controller or Xbox controller. The section I want you to go to next is motion simulation. Here we will configure our shake and our tilt. All you would do is go to shake. To configure, all you will have to do is click where it says it. Me in particular, I have my back left trigger as my shake. So you would click it, click whatever button you want to configure. And once you press it, you should see the indication in the box moving. The next section I want you to go to is the tilt section. This is the same from the shake section and the other sections as well. All you have to do is click the section you want to configure and then click on your Xbox or your whatever controller you're using, what button you want to configure with it. For me, it's my LB and my RB buttons. And as you see, when I press LB and RB, my tilt indications move as well. After that, all you will have to do is click save and exit out, load up your game. If this helps you in any way, shape or form, please click that like button and hit that sub. Thank you so much.